And tonight here at 6, new information about an argument that turned deadly in an upscale North Valley neighborhood. The man originally arrested for murder is out of jail. The shooting happened around 4 in the morning on Rome Boulevard, which is between Bradley and Decatur, close to the Costco Shopping Center. That is where 8 News Now reporter Madison Kimbrough joins us now live. And Madison, the man was charged with murder, but now he's not. Yeah, 32 year old Daniel Guillen was originally charged with murder here at his home that you can actually see in the far distance behind me. Well, tonight he's now charged with carrying a concealed weapon and possession of a stolen vehicle. The district attorney will now review the open murder charge. It's unclear at this time what new evidence changed this, but it definitely changed this neighborhood. I went outside and the street was just full of police um, and they were trying to get him to come out. It's a morning neighbors won't soon forget blue and red lights and police tape. Thursday word spread fast of a murder at this home. Danielle Smith says there's been a lot of police calls to this residence before. Metro has been there, you know, uh, more than a handful of times, so we weren't at all surprised. According to police, a fight broke out between two men and one was shot. It's unclear what the argument was about and if this was a case of self-defense. Neighbors tell me there are two houses on the lot and they see a lot of cars go through. They also say they're not sure if the owner lives there or rents it out. There's eight to 10 people going in and out of there all the time. We did not know that. And in this lot here, which they own also, he's moving dirt around and, and has hoses ever. I don't know what he's doing. It is of a uh, great concern because we've been having issues in here with the uh, car break-ins. So, yeah, so. It's a, it's a concern. Officers that were coming around to kind of reassure everybody of the local neighborhood here, uh, they, they had indicated that uh, neither of the two men involved were actually residents of that home. You know, it's obviously unsettling because this has been an extremely peaceful, quiet neighborhood for so long. As for the man who died, the coroner has yet to release his name. Meanwhile, Daniel Guillen was let out of jail on his own recognizance and told by a judge to stay out of trouble. Now, a hearing on these charges is expected for next month. Of course, we will be here to keep you updated. Reporting live, Madison Kimbrough, 8 News Now.